everyone it's Anya here I'm back with another video for Ophelia crafts and today's card is this one here now I have to say this was not my idea uh, I saw this online made by Julie Kettlewell and I really 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 like this card I mailed her and asked her if it was okay if I made a tutorial on how to make this and she said very kindly yes that's fine of course I said I would mention her name which is what I'm doing of course so Julie Ketterwell she designed this card she got the idea for someone else as well but she changed it slightly so it would uh, be like this so we have perfect plum mint macaron and then a piece of white paper that we're going to decorate with the brick embossing folder I don't know whether you can see that um, this is the embossing folder here that we're going to use um, and I'm using Tip Top Torb. She's also used um, Early Espresso here. And, um, you know, we've got to cut out the dragonfly and do the friend and make the ribbon. Oh, uh, yes, Julie used a different ribbon, but I wanted to stick to the um, to card and I didn't want to put the ribbon on. So I uh, made my own ribbon um, to do that. So here we go. Now. I've decorated the inside as well and we are going to start with the front of the card but first of all let's see which colours we use so early espresso for the green I used um, mossy meadow mint macaron tip top top and perfect plum so those are the colours that you will need I also use the perfect plum re-inker because we have to colour in the uh, flowers and of course, yes, before anything else, it's the awesomely artistic stamp set that we are using. Together with the Project Life uh, Cards and Labels Framelit Dies, because that's the one here, that's the, um, the label, the friend, this one here, fits perfectly in there. Okay, so that's that. Now I have made a start, because it's otherwise it would uh, take a little bit too long to make the cards, so... You start with, let me just show you here, this is a base card, uh, A4, cut in half, scored in half, okay, so that's what I'm putting to the side. Then we have the first mat, which is mint macaron, to go on there, and then you have a piece of white paper, and you stamp on those uh, flowers, this one here, in early espresso, and then we need to colour that in. And the way we are going to colour that in is using um, a brush. And I've got a little pot of water. And I'm just going to show you how I coloured that in. I'm not going to do all of them because that's the only bit I still have to do. So don't worry, it's not going to be boring. So we have here the re -inca. I just put one drop in the lid you can also press your lid uh, onto your pad and then it will create a pool of ink there but I just like doing this then I don't um, you know I don't damage my ink pads and I t put the tip of my brush into the water then I sort of try and get as much water off as I can by rubbing it on the edge I'm not using aqua paints because that's it's just too watery I, I, I still want to see the actual um, perfect plum colour. Now you might think, oh, that's very dark. Well, I am starting with a, a very little amount of water in my brush and a lot of colour because I'm going to do, obviously, I'm going to start with the darker bits. And um, the darker bits are the ones that are already shaded in. And then I go on to the lighter bits. See, now it's a little bit lighter just to give me that... Uh, variation of color the more you do the lighter it will get and so go back and get some more color from your little pool try not to get too much water into that pool because of course then you're diluting it and um, I always start with doing the darker bits first and then as I go you add to water to it so it will go lighter anyway and I did exactly the same obviously with all the other flowers here but also with the green so I put a drop of mossy meadow into my lid and with a tiny bit of water I then started colouring it in 
right now it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to emboss it as well now you can just leave that there that's that doesn't matter um we are yes although it we are embossing this piece of um the front piece of this card can you see that it's raised edges and things like that um we are first of all doing our stamping and then we're doing the embossing so this is my bit for the inside so for our card so that can go there this can go on top of there so yes let's see if we can add some more to the front before we emboss it and we're going to put some mint macaron ferns on so there we go just um adding some interest to the card and doing some some two second generation stamping there we go what do you think yeah i think that's okay maybe one more there there we go all right and now we are going to put all this to the side and we are ready for our embossing folder so how do we turn it from this color into this obviously because that's not white anymore so we are going to use tip top tool first of all onto our embossing folder right so we want the joints to be colored in and that's how we are going to do it here so to get the embossing folder with the with the brand Sizzix towards you okay this is going to be going into the joint so these are the joints so we need to color the this in so put your ink pad across the embossing folder and don't worry you can just um, clean this off later on and I don't mind about putting too much on all right so there we go then first of all let me just uh, put my big shot on tab two we are going to put this down on this part here and we're going to close the embossing folder and put it through the big shot I know I'm out of the picture but I'll keep talking <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll be able to put this in here yeah there we go that works and just roll it through and oh, well let's roll it back as well <laughs> oh dear and then we end up with this so let me put this out of the way and let me check that I'm still in the picture yeah and then we have this see and it looks as if you know you've got your bricks with the joints which are darker but of course at the moment we've got white bricks that's not what we want really we want a little bit of a you know wall color basically so we get our sponge out and if you have like bits like that it doesn't matter because the wall isn't always clean so we're going to really go for it and sponge it really well even going over the flowers because that will help with the whole look of the card and there we go i mean you can do as much and as little as you want if you if you want more um color in the joints you could go um, and use your pen and just go into the joints joints uh, to make them darker but I think it's okay okay so there we go that's that so that can go to the side that's one more oh no hang on a minute I've just seen a little part here that hasn't it's too white <laughs> okay a little bit more color in there okay so that's one more part of our card finished now we need to do all our bits here and i had some paper ready for that <laughs> had being the operative word <laughs> so let's see if we can do this one here so into 
perfect why have i got so little space oh dear perfect plum nice little dragonfly there there we go and then we need the tip top top no we need the mint macaron really oh, am i awake today i think so <laughs> Up, okay, and we need a perfect plum friend in there. Try to get it straight. There we go. And again, uh, we're going to cut this out with the big shot. So let me just quickly do that. We'll put it on tab two. This one goes in. This one goes on top of there. And then if you have a magnetic platform, do use that because it will keep it into place easier. And I'm just rolling it through now. There we go. That was that. <laughs> Voila. And we'll just have to cut out the, um, the dragonfly. How many have I cut out in the last few cards <laughs> too many i think but it's nice to have this as a um you know a focal point on your card so there we go it's easier if you have a smaller piece of paper and let's just see and the easiest thing is to actually look Turn your piece of paper around instead of your scissors. Oh, can you see that? Because it might have been off camera then. Okay, so that's that. And once again, um, the white paper. So we're going to have to go into the tip top top and make them a little bit more tip top top. And I have just forgotten to get out a piece of, I think, anyway, I can't see it, for my ribbon down the middle. So I will get that in a moment. Just go over the middle like that. Okay, I have found a piece of ribbon for the middle. And let me just put some of these things to the side because this is getting ridiculous, isn't it? The minute you start stamping, all your work surface is full up. Okay, so we're going to stamp tone on tone into the perfect plum and onto here. This one is a little bit wider than the actual stamp, so you might need to stamp off 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 the edges here. And I'm trying to look underneath the stamp so I can see where I'm stamping. There we go. Okay. Right. Now, again. Oh! Just put that in the perfect plum then. Let's put some tip top top on that. You can do it with perfect plum as well. Doesn't really make much difference. Just to give it that little bit of a darker look. A used sort of um, look. Right. Okay, so those are our bits. Let's get rid of these ink pads because I don't want to get our card into there and ruin it. <laughs> okay, so ready for assembly, I think. So we have our base card and we are going to put the inside in. I know this doesn't leave much space to write anything, but I just wanted to do lots of colouring. <laughs> So let's put that there. There we go. Then we have our embossed bit. Now, as we've got lots of raised edges here, you need to make sure you put quite a bit of glue on so they actually touch the piece of paper that you're putting it on. Okay, so that's that one. Then this goes on top of that. Just about sort of there. OK. 
Okay, and then this one goes on to the card. There we go. I just kept looking. When I made this card the first time, I had it on my desk and I just kept looking at it. Couldn't help it. I just, I loved it so much. Okay, now we need some dimensionals. And you know what? I had them just now and I've put them away. Of course, why not? <laughs> Okay, let's use these up. I've got so many going. Okay, we have two here on this one here. And I'm just going to put that in the middle of our ribbon. And then one in the middle here of the dragonfly. You can't see it. I just cut it out big enough. And I'm just going to put it sort of well it doesn't matter where you can just put it wherever you like now i've made this card again using a butterfly from the butterfly basics that um dies you know the butterfly framelits and that's nice as well because that gives you um you know an, a different uh, take on this card i've lowered the ribbon and i've changed the color around see it's um this one is tip top top card what am I saying? Why am I calling mint macaron tip top top? It's mint macaron card and this is perfect pl plum card. So I've swapped it around. And then here I've done another one with uh, rich wazzleberry and uh, mossy meadow and lots of tip top top. And I like this one as well. Haven't finished it yet because I I am, I don't know where to put the, don't know what sentiment and don't know where to put the sentiment so I'm just keeping it like this for now it's it's a happy birthday or a get well soon or whatever um could use it like this as well no you can't because the bricks of course of course you can't move it around because of the bricks so this was in this direction I've got to do a, a sentiment for that and I'll let you know later on which one I chose so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and go and try it out bye